Hello. Hi, welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. I have a package. I think I know what's in this package, but let's find out together. This is from the Salvation Army in from Detroit, Michigan. Now, fun fact, I grew up a short, a little bit away from, in Detroit, actually a suburb of Detroit. I was school there when I was a young kiddo. My father is in the military, and we were stationed in Michigan. And we lived in, um, he worked in Warren. We, 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 we lived at Selfridge International Guard Base, and I went to school in Mount Clemens in Washington Elementary um, School and then Mount Clemens Middle School before we moved. Okay, so this is the Salvation Fine, Salvation Army Fine, and this is a... Yes, I bought, I bought another one. <laughs> like You're like, Jackie, don't you have that bag? I do. I really like them. Now, this is the American Leather Company. This is a subline for um, Amy Kissenberg, apparently. I, I don't really know, but that's what I was told. So I'm going with it. So, But these, these bags are made um, internationally. They're not actually made in America, even though they're called American Leather Co., um so this this it's a really soft leather minimally dyed see how it's kind of a little bit dirty because it gets stained really easy because it's a light color it doesn't have a lot of finishing on this so it's really nice actually so one of the one of the downfalls with this bag is oh this one doesn't have it interesting i wonder why normally this is done differently than the other ones I have. Normally, there's rivets right here. This one doesn't have it on that back side, but they do have it on the front side. So there's rivets right here to help reinforce the carrying of this. And sometimes these rivets come off. Um, on the other one I have, that's what happened. So this company only has a one-year warranty, so they don't do repairs or any servicing on their on their bags. So it's yours, right? So for whatever reason, this one ended up in the Salvation Army, and it's a three-compartment bag, and I like this more than I like my Coach Rogues, because I like the shoulder aspect, I like the boxy shape, I like the soft leather, and I really like um, the straps, and that's what I like about the Rogue. So the Coach Rogue has top handles also, but and it's a three-compartment bag with shoulder straps, but I like not having the top handle um and this is very lightweight so i this is called the lennox bag from and it's american Le the american leather co lennox triple entry bag and that's what's listed on this salvation army tag that they use for their tracking and um so this was a donation not a purchase <laughs> and that that's what i'm sticking to and james my husband doesn't quite agree with me he says um he says a purchase whether it's a donation or a purchase, it's still money out of the account. <laughs> but I'm like, it's not, a, I didn't buy it. I donated money and they gifted me a bag. That's how this works. So he's like, that's not how this works. I tried, guys. But guys, the, the actual bid purchase was $5.99. What cost so much was the fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents in shipping, and it was a dollar seventy three in tax. So it was twenty two dollars and seventy one cents for this amazing all leather bag. I can clean this up. I can polish this up. Nothing is wrong with this bag. I will keep using it for a long time. Um, I'm. I don't know why it ended up being donated, but people donate things for all reasons, and I want to be able to buy that pre loved item and love it again and this is a rag i have that has a little bit of um, oil now the oil i'm using on this is not not maybe the best idea because it is a darkening oil um so it will darken the color of this light tan but i'm okay with that i like the darker look but you have to be careful with this one because it's such a minor finish on this it's like a vegetable tan well, it might not be vegetable tan it might be I think it is a vegetable tan. I think this is a very low finish. Um, this will this can be blotchy, is what I'm saying. It's like what, when I'm using this conditioner, it can make this a little blotchy. There's other conditioners you can use that will not do that. But I personally like the character of what happens to these bags as they age and as you put an oil layer on them and as it absorbs the oil and darkens a little bit. I like the way it looks. And that's part of the problems with these bags is that people buy them, 
and they never cleaned them and they never occurred to them that you could just you know put a little bit of conditioner on it and it will come back bounce back be fine um a lot of times people just don't know so uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm telling people, you buy a bag, you like a bag, take a gamble. It was a $20 bag uh, with shipping, so we paid postal, um, we paid taxes, and we donated to the Salvation Army. So the person who donated this bag gave it as a gift. I gave my donation for them to use as they see fit, and now I have this really cool bag to use. And you can see a little bit how the, because of that fold right there, it didn't quite take the leather, the oil, um, because this is a this the type of oil that's on this is neat foots oil of fat it's meant for saddles. It's a darkening, softening, and weatherproofing oil. You can there's all kinds of lightweight or non-darkening types, but I like the way it will look when this dries off. Um I can show you an example of this is another American Leather Company. Now I did use that darkening oil and I did too much and you can see how it's really blotchy that's because where you see the really dark blotches and I just did that with my ring um it's me um not putting it on in a very good very good layer I did it too too haphazardly and this might have been too light of a bag well I mean not light I put a lot of oil on this bag a couple layers of it and it you can see where it's a little splotchy but that's okay I'm gonna do another layer of it it will be fine it's my bag I like the distressed look I live in Texas it fits in with my vibe totally my vibe anyhow Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for um, continuing to support my channel and give me a thumbs up. It does help um, interaction, whether positive or negative, is interaction. So anyway, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.